All right, man. Lots of blood, sweat, and tears on this sucker. <laughs> that thing is bad. No way. Working on your own motorcycle, it, it creates a bond with your bike. It's something that you're putting that energy into. You're bloodying your knuckles. Working with my hands and fabricating and building motorcycles, it's literally therapy. So after four long months and many hours of building, I'm finally wrapped up with Twitch's bike. If you don't know who Twitch is, he's a very decorated freestyle motocross rider and one of my longtime buddies. My bike is definitely gonna be more on the stunt side just because Twitch rides aggressively, he rides really well, and you know, this bike's gonna be bouncing off the rim limiter most of the time it's ridden. So, you know, it's not just a show piece. I mean, it has to look great, but it also has to have a big function piece as well as durable. What up? Hello, How are you? Good, yourself? Good, man. Cruising? Yep. Come check you out in the nine. Yeah, you make the drive this time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dude, this place is legit. Pump. Finally got it redone. Not too bad. Dude, the king of the 909, man. Keeping it strong. Can't leave it, dude. Never leaving. I'm not a sellout. <laughs> you're, like, you're like Fresh Prince. <laughs> I am in Temecula. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You got jumps on your property? Yeah, I think everyone's riding right now. Check it. Watch out for the bad wolf. That Vicky and who else? Vicky and McNarls. Oh, nice. We pretty much ride at least. Well, they ride like three days a week. I ride once maybe. Dude, this setup is sick. I like it. It's fun. It's perfect. Hell yeah. Ride once a week, get a little practice in. And when you can ride at home, it just, you're way more motivated to ride. Yeah. Like I, I can just literally gear up, ride, and then be done. <laughs> Dude, they've been riding so good lately. I might have to dust off the freestyle bike and come out and ride with you. It sounds good to say, but not to do. <laughs> oh, dude, I've actually been having the itch lately. I, I yeah. haven't hit ramps in forever. I mean, I hit mine once in a while, but... Yours it, looks fun. It looks super safe. It's so yeah, safe. That's what's it's cool fun. And then you can just moto laps, hit the ramp each lap. Yeah. So It's been cool, though. Nice. Well, are you ready to go see this thing or what? I've been waiting long enough. I think I'm more than ready. <laughs> I'm just glad to get it out of my shop. <laughs> so it's like every time I look at it, I'm checking hardware and this and that. It's like, dude, get this thing out of here. Finally got this thing redone. Oh, look at you. Came out good, huh? Garage Stuff. looks sick. Got the workhorses. The money makers. Yeah, the two smoker. <laughs> oh, look at you turning a bike builder twitch. Yeah, got the I just challenger built, I'm all time guy. Heck yeah. Thing came out sick though, I'm stoked. Looks great. I've been riding it a bunch like every week when I'm Dude, home. Dude, great bikes, huh? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's, until you get some serious miles in it, you can't explain how well they work. I love this thing, dude. It's so fun to ride. It's more like a sport bagger. Than, exactly. You know, like you can get down. It's like it. a performance bagger stock. Like yeah. I just literally did a couple things, bars, risers. Yeah. It's a, such a good bike, I love it. All right, well, speaking of motorcycles, you ready to see this thing? Yeah, I've been waiting long enough. <laughs> hit, hit the button, dude. Let's see it. You know, I don't actually do that many projects for other people, truthfully. So the people that I do build motorcycles for, I have a connection to them, especially in this situation. I feel like I'm kind of passing the torch on, like I'm able to do something, put my spin on an Indian motorcycle, pass it off to the new owner, and hopefully they go out and have a great time on it. I've been waiting on this bike for about, I'd say six months now. And dude, I couldn't wait. Like. Every chance I got, like if anyone was ever filming in Hart's shop, I'm like looking, zooming in, and like just trying to see anything I could to see on the bike. So I know what Schultz can do. I know what Hart's already doing. Like whatever, if he has a budget, that whole budget goes into that bike. So I know what I get from Hart's gonna be dope. And I know the paint from Schultz is gonna be flashy as hell. Like it's gonna be nice. And, and that's what I want. Like I want a dope bike that performs, but also looks really sick at the same time. All right, man. Lots of blood, sweat, and tears on this sucker. <laughs> that thing is bad. No way. What you think? 
I don't have words. <laughs> this thing That's is good. so sick. So I didn't get exotic on crazy sheet metal and all the bullshit. I literally stripped it down to where it was just the motor in the frame and replaced and rebuilt everything. That's the plan. And, and it was just all performance based. Um, I re-engineered and did all this for the Behringer caliper. This so thing's sick. It's, it's got like more of a, moto. Yeah, it's yeah. got more of a gradual feel to it. Jake at Barnstorm did the knee cut on the tank as well as the chain oh, conversion. He did. Yeah, so that way the bike feels a little slimmer. It's like you don't even see it with the paint job. Yeah, like the you paint know, like hides it, it pretty well. It hides well. it a lot, that's dope. Are those your bars too? Yeah, so these are my bars and grips uh, with ODI. And then as you see like the Behringer clutch perch, which I think you have on your Indian, so yep. a little bit more moto feel than it the feel, It makes me feel so much more comfortable just having solid controls. It feels like my dirt bike. Exactly. So. So, uh, should we uh, fire her up? Thing's bad. Yeah, let's hear this thing. Thing's bad. Yeah. Yeah, sounds good too. Sounds so good. So stoked right now. Feels good. So Just stoked. remember, it has 40 miles on it. <laughs> okay, keep it below 3,000 RPM for at least a couple hundred miles. That's definitely not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy with Jeremy's bike. He was a tricky one. For the things he's gonna do with that motorcycle, I, I don't even do. You know, I don't beat up on my stuff. So there was some pressure to get this thing correct for him. Today was dope. The thing, like, I was just, I was pumped. The colorway came out sick. Like, everything he did to this bike is exactly what I would do on my own. With Jeremy's paint, I wanted to do something that was flashy, classic, represented Jeremy well. Also, it looks kind of loud and fast while it's parked, whether it's riding down the road. Beyond the Schultz paint, you start with the Dunlop tires. They're super sticky tires. Going into the machine wheels, upgraded all the brakes, went an inch taller on the front forks, getting into the chain conversion, down to the Bassani exhaust, the two-into-one exhaust. I wanted to slim that bike up just a little bit for Jeremy since he's gonna be doing like a lot of stand-up stuff. I reached out to Jake at Barnstorm. He does a great knee cut on that tank. I work with Dave at Track Dynamics to do a build aluminum swing arm on it to keep that bike super rigid, minimalizing the flex. And me and Jeremy both ride motocross, so my ODI hard luck handlebar with the grip is a perfect match. Really, it was just kind of pulling that whole motorcycle together. So there's just a lot of attention to detail on this motorcycle. Me and Jeremy go back over 25 years. You know, we've traveled the world together, we've pushed freestyle motocross together, and here we are working together 25 plus years later on Indian. I was really, really happy to see his genuine enthusiasm and happiness, not only just seeing the motorcycle, but then that smile got a, quite a bit bigger once he got a chance to get on the bike and go ride it. The way the bike handles too, it just feels so light and easy. Like the way it handles, it maneuvers, like it's, it's really predictable and it's super fun to ride. I never want to be that dude that's too old for his sport, trying to relive a dream that he's already lived. That's how I, I've always put it on. Like every once in a while, I'll be like, am I too old to be doing this? Like, am I like, but I'm like, I'm not trying to relive a dream. I'm like, I'm still living my dream. Man, I guess to do as long as Twitch has, it's a lot of stubbornness, refusing to grow old. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I tell people all the time, I don't know if Joe Montana plays two hand touch on the weekend, but guys like myself and Twitch, we're gonna ride dirt bikes and street bikes until we're dead.